Hello everyone, my name is Kevin, I'm a DP and colorist, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how I color graded a recent music video that I worked on for a band called Metaprism. <laughs> Okay, so here we are with the log clip, and I'm just gonna find a place to park it, and I'm just gonna leave it there. And my first node is gonna be for noise reduction, so let me just move things around a little bit. This node is gonna be for exposure. And first off, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my lift, and I'm just gonna start pulling this down. And I don't want to pull it down too much because I want to save some room for later on. I don't want everything to get too crushed straight away. Then I'm going to take my gamma and I'm going to pull this up a little bit. And then my gain, I'm going to pull down to somewhere about there. And for me, this is a good starting point. Next node is gonna be saturation, and I'm just gonna bump this up just a little bit. So let me just name that. Next node is gonna be the actual look that we wanna go for to turn this into what I've shown you. So I'm gonna take my gamma, and I'm just gonna start pulling it this way leave that there and then my gain I'm gonna pull this back just a little bit and then pull the color into green somewhere about there then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna come in here to my hue versus hue and I'm gonna select the cyan here and just pull this up a little bit and then this green point, I'm going to pull down. Then I'm going to get my reds, and I'm just going to pull these up a little bit. So now if I turn this off and on, and jump into full screen. So now the overall tone and look for what I wanted to go for is there. I'm just going to name this look. Next node is just going to be for darkening the blacks a little bit better to help things pop a little bit more. So I'm just going to name this Shadows. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump into my log wheels here and pull my shadow down. Now my next node is gonna be really cool. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some glow to this clip. So if I come up in here into library and type in glow and drag this on, and I start playing around with the spread and the threshold, you can see how cool we can start making this look. So I'm gonna take my spread and I'm gonna pull this back. And then take my threshold and just pull this back a little bit more. Somewhere about there. And then this ratio here this shows how the, the glow spreads, so vertically or horizontally. And I'm gonna pull this so it comes across the screen. That's looking cool. I'm gonna take my brightness. And just pull this back a little bit. 
So now if I turn this off and on, you can see how cool that's making it like right here. I'm freaking loving that. So I'm gonna park this here again and my next node, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create some more light rays. Now we already have this going on in the in this clip created by the smoke and the band members moving in front of the lights, but I just wanna enhance that a little bit more and just spice things up a little bit. So I'm gonna come up in here, scroll down, and I'm gonna drag these light rays over here. And straight away, this looks just insane and crazy, but the first thing that I usually do is take my length and just bump this up so it helps me figure out which direction they're going. I'm gonna take my Y position and pull this all the way up here. And then this position, I'm gonna move around until I find something that I like. That's looking pretty cool. Now I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna play with the length again. And then now I'm gonna soften this up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my brightness and I'm gonna pull this down. It's just adding a little bit more. It's just making things look a little bit better. So now what I wanna do, I wanna darken these areas up, the, the blacks a little bit more once again to kind of get rid of some of this noise. So I'm gonna jump into my qualifier here and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna turn this on and select just the darkest areas up this clip. It's looking cool. And then I'm gonna take my soft and I'm gonna bump this up. Something like that. Now if I turn this off, I'm gonna come into my log wheels and pull these shadows down a little bit. And then I'm gonna bump up my contrast. So if I turn this off and on, you can see how that's cleaning things up a little bit. And again, helping things just pop a little bit more. So that's looking really nice. I wanna darken this floor up a little bit and just take away some of these hot spots here on the floor. So I'm gonna create another node, come in here to my window and just start curving this out a little bit. Then I'm gonna come up into my soft and jack this up. I'm gonna take my outside and pull this up just so I start seeing these dots here. And then I'm gonna come into my primaries and pull my gain down. Take my gamma and pull this down as well. And I'm gonna do my lift as well. I'm gonna pull this down. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pull these bits up, the outside softness, to make things look a little bit more natural. It's all 
almost there. I just want to pull up this area a little bit more this way. And then once again, I want to, I don't think I need to go so dark around here. this area over here a little bit more and that's that's making things just a little bit more even and less harsh I might just darken this area up a little bit more here in the corner Okay, sweet. So the, the final thing that I want to do, I want to create another node. And this is going to be my final look adjustment. And I just want to darken things up just a little bit more. So I'm going to take my gamma and I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. I'm going to bump up my highs in my gain. And I'm going to bump up the contrast one last time. Maybe there. So again, it's just taking the noise out of some of these areas, darkening things up, helping make things pop. And I'm really freaking digging that look. So this is looking really nice. This is looking really clean. Finally, all I want to do is jump into my noise reduction node up here, and I'm going to turn this on three, bump up my luma and chroma just a little bit. I'm going to pull this back. So I'm about here, and I'm looking around like these areas here to clean these up a little bit. I'm going to come into enhanced, deselect these, and bump up my chroma. And then if I just turn this off and on, see it's cleaning these areas up really nice around here. And that's it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.